Good morning. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us. The Bible says, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, the Lord's name should be praised. Psalms 57, 7 and 10 says, my heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and make music. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing among the people. For great is your love reaching to the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. For you are my strength and my redeemer. This morning's meditation is on perpetual praise. What happens when we praise God? Well, we shift our attention from ourselves, other people, and all that is happening around us. We focus on God. According to Hebrews 13, 15, and 16, we are to continually offer to God sacrifice of praise. That is the fruit of our lips that openly profess his name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are saved. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed and a stronghold in the times of trouble. Therefore, we should praise God perpetually. David said, my heart is fixed, meaning that his heart is steadfast, confident in the Lord. Because of this, he says, I will sing and give praises unto you. Praise strengthens us and upholds us. It invigorates us. It unifies us. It frees us. Praise refocuses us. There is a power in praise. So are we in the attitude of praise continually? Do we make praise intentional? Brothers and sisters, even in the midst of his struggles, and David had many, he sustained himself and his faith by recounting the testimonies of God's faithfulness to him and to the generations before him. He said, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. David sang, prayed, and declared praises through the highest of highs and the lowest of lows in his life. He found rest and faith in the practice of remembering the wondrous works and the unchanging nature of God most high. As we read David's Psalms, we see a pattern of praise. Whether he was hiding in caves, staring at a battlefield, or ruling his nation, David developed a practice of perpetually praising the nature and the deeds of God, regardless of how excellent or how terrifying his circumstances may have been at the time. So we see in the scriptures that as David declared the praises of the Lord, his fears, his weaknesses, his mistakes melted away as the name of the Lord was lifted high. Praise shifted David's focus from his lack to God's abundance from his fear to God's faithfulness, from his sin to God's grace. Amen? So as believers, we could cultivate this same lifestyle of praise as well. Praise is something we can do at any time, anywhere, because we have full access to come right into God's presence. Like David, our praises are not limited to only moments of great excitement, celebration, or breakthrough. We can offer praise in the valley or in the midst of a battle. 
we can live in a perpetual state of praise because of the faithful nature and promises of our God. So as I close, I'll leave you with these words. In times of great suffering, don't turn inward to self-pity or outward to revenge. Instead, look upward to God who is faithful to help us and give him perpetual praise. God bless you and be encouraged. Amen.